we're gonna get right into it. Let's do it. These sun guns right here, bro. Mm -hmm. bro. Here, I will I will do you one. I will do you one better. I will do you one much better. They have shown their ass for this show. Mm -hmm. Their whole ass. And I ain't mad at it. Cheek one the and penguin. cheek two, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Penguin episode eight, probably a limited series. I think they've been labeling it as a limited series. There, there are talks right now. Because <laughs> I don't think you can leave this on the table. Um mm -mm. No, Farrell already sat there and said he would be welcome to a season two, even though he's going to be in the yeah, next. They got Batman. him for three. Like, yeah, they got him for three mm -hmm. Batman movies. It was just like, yo. He, he, he uh, like, that check cleared a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, whoever's running their socials, I need you to stop, like, immediately. Right. <laughs> cleared, <laughs> deposited, and bought tacos with it. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't even put yeah. peroxide on the wound yet, and y'all just over here just digging in it. Like, mm hmm the, the missing posters and all the how do we feel about Oz now? You know, like Colin Farrell oh. himself had said it a week prior. He says, "I would be highly surprised if by the end of the series, everybody likes Oz." I'm like, "Oh no, it was never about liking Oz. We just kept trying to figure out how he kept getting out of stuff." And it was like, uh -huh. we, "We like the way that he moved, in a sense." That's about it. Yeah. Okay, not, not but, completely. In a sense, I said, in a sense. Pause. <laughs> If we really, if we really, but if we really think about it, did he lie the entire series? No. Yes, Mickey. Yes. He <laughs> that was, no. he was, that was if you really think about it. He sat. He sat there, and I had this discussion with other people. Did he lie the entire series? He was himself, true and true. He curved because you think, think about what he said. If you go back, if you go back to episode seven during the Budweiser Coalition. When old man, old man's out sat there and said, look, he's a liar. He's a cheat. He will sell everybody else out to save his own ass. Here's Oz. Oh, yep. See. But you need me. <laughs> and I was like, the whole entire series, yes, I'm a scumbag. Yes, I'm down and dirty. Yes, I will sell you out to save my own ass. But at least I'm honest about it. <laughs> he never lied. It's the crazy part that, like, even when we know – it wasn't even a lie. We knew his truth, and he's he would rather let his mom get her own finger chopped off than say what he Bro. did. I right. was the fact that he rolled that lie. He rolled that lie out. Dude, the wheels I, off, man. I, I, <laughs> I don't think I still don't think he said he admitted he never did. He never no, he did. didn't. He never admitted it. He never did. I, I fully see why Carmine kept him around. <sighs> <laughs> that's why that's why, that's like, why Carmine that's why when Sophia said about Carmine, you know why my dad loved you? Because you are easy. He, I, he gives you one little trinket and you're completely okay with it. And you call yourself a man that wants more. I was like, that to me was the coldest line in the whole series. That she sat there and said, Your dad had you figured out and you thought you was moving. <laughs> I did say they had a deleted scene from the Batman where um uh, I think it's Selena's talking to him in private because she wants mm -hmm. she has to basically negotiate to work downstairs when she's doing the spy work for Batman, mm -hmm. and he basically is just like plotting from there. He's like, you know, Carmen ain't gonna be around forever. He's like, I don't, oh, don't ask me how, but this is all gonna be fine eventually. I'm like, y'all should have kept. Was, him. He he was yeah, he was definitely plotting just from the way when he was moving in the Batman, he was definitely plotting in. He was just mm -hmm. waiting for his he was waiting for his time. Yep, yeah. he was waiting for his time. He was plotting since he was nine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we know that now, but as far that as like that, that scene itself was a great lead into this show, and I think they should have kept that in the final. Like, seeing it now, that should have been kept in the final cut because it aged so well. Mm. At the same time, I mean, that whole uh, whole fascination with his mother, I said the whole selflessness. I'm like, dang, you let your two brothers bite the dust just so you can have my mom meet yourself. That ain't Norman Bates at all. Easy there. I was about to say the Ooh. level of obsession was so top tier on that one. That was, he was just all the he, milk, he was Very. a milkman's baby. Let's just be honest. Oz was the, a milkman's baby out of that three. Listen. He, yeah, yeah. Because it, it was obviously like Jack and Benny, mm -hmm. you had to have been Rex's kids. You had to be. Had to. That's what I kept <laughs> seeing people say. 
because because see when when Jack, I think Jack was the older one. Jack, when he went over mm-hmm. there to make that run, and, and Rex gave him that money, he gave him a he gave him a bill, but he told his brothers he like he gave me fifty, he gave him a hundred. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm like, and then everything else started playing. I'm like, you're Rex's kid. <laughs> you gotta be. I've been like, like tell, tell your mama I said hi. I was like, why would you always like, hey, even, why even, even the same even if with the hallucination or the mind wipe or whatever heck that old boy was doing, mm-hmm. she was talking to him. He's like, "Let me pay for the funeral. Let me do." It. I'm like, "Yeah, you, mm, you was the daddy. You was the daddy. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have no notes for that show. And you gotta no. have the other ones walking around the neighborhood because he wasn't even grieving. He was just like, "Ah, uh, that sucked." Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely ten out of ten. Definitely mm-hmm. ten out of ten. I I couldn't I couldn't find a flaw. Couldn't even try to find a flaw because I'm like, yo, the acting, the wardrobe, the cinematography, the script, the, the layout, the pacing. Jesus, the I'm like, this is perfect. You had eight episodes of pacing, and I think they nailed it. Catering is probably on point too. And the yeah. the um. Just like the little nuances with people, that one, the, I'm going to talk about it again. That that final scene with Eve and he, he and Eve dancing, and he tells her I love you, and that little lip twist, like, ooh, nigga, I hate you. <laughs> hate you. He, he went he went full Homelander at the end there. Homelander, Man. Homelander, <laughs> Homelander, and Madam Stillwell. Because the first, like, we started out, like, tell me you love me. And she was like, I love you, guys. And then it kept going on, tell me. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, wait. First off, Eve looked way too much like the mom. Dude, <laughs> down to the dress, I was, that was That was on purpose, down to the dress. Yeah, I was like, the dress, the, the hair. hair, just the way she was looking in the face. I'm like, that is odd, dude. <laughs> I was like, I'm, a, I'm a bit concerned, you know? So, like, I don't know. What's your mm, face? Mm, mm. Um, Sophia had him pegged too when she went to her house and they had their little girl talk. Pause. Like, oh, all you need to say. Oh, oh, you're the best. You're gonna be the greatest man in all. Yeah, buddy. That shit was. <laughs> 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 Just the fact that Sophia and all of them were just like, you really gonna let us do this instead of just saying I did the thing we all know you did. Like, even his torturers were baffled. Like, nigga, tell the truth. Like. We we don't even want to be doing this. We just want to know if you're capable of like saying it and knowing that we know you can do it mm-hmm. or have done these things. I, that dude was mm-hmm. had way too much going on. Like, yeah. I was like, that was dude, a beautiful scene though. It was. Yeah. It really was. It was. It was a really the the way it was set up. I'm like, oh yeah, that politician told you, yeah, clean up, clean up, mm-hmm. and he was like, yeah. They, they all the way he's all the way he played that out. All the way he played out for old boys like. You literally could man, you literally could write your ticket. And he's looking at him the whole time like this some this some bitch. I was, I was like, he planned this from the start. This was his contingency plan. Oh yeah, but he was sitting up in the uh in the what is it, the counselor's chamber? I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. here's the here's the pivot. Didn't I say what did I say? We gonna get mayor uh, mayor cobblepot. <laughs> Although I do love the I do love the I do love the owls thing, like they're not just hinting at quarter vowels all over the place. Like mm. he's called Mr. Reeves. We saw the owl paint. We saw the whole owl wallpaper slash tapestry, sir. It's and then, definitely a and, show for a rewatch. And then Eve's definitely. last name. I was like, really? Eve's last name? Clayface? That the little nose there, sir? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, like I said, no notes for this show. Like, I mm-hmm. see I see Oscar wins all over this. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, Emmys, Emmys, yeah, yeah. Emmy, 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 Emmy Awards. Just walking out the door with a bunch it's of Oscar Emmys. worthy. This series is probably better than most movies they've got out. So let me tell look, you, right now. Was, look that make that makeup team, especially because you see, they're telling that me you got to sit there for five hours in a body suit good. that weighs 120 pounds and you are constantly sweating. I'm sorry, and, and you can still do the physicality that some of those um scenes had. Like and Colin and Colin is quick. Is quick to say, "Oh yeah, the makeup job did a great team." I'm like, "You helped." I'm like, "Dude, you talking about a team effort?" 
I know they can hate can... putting that makeup on, but it's an interesting process. It's just grueling getting it on and then back off. So mm-hmm. they want to so, like, dude, are you coming for Gary Oldman's crown or something? I need to know, like, like. You this see man. Gary Oldman and stuff, and it was like, that's not Gary. The Damn, crazy thing Gary. is you yeah. see actors do this with prosthetics, but then you see cosplayers doing the exact same thing. So you got to give respect to them because mm-hmm. they get in character the minute they put on the makeup, the prosthetics, whatever it takes. So, yeah, you're giving homage to the actors, but you got people do this at conventions all the time. They mm-hmm. honestly do know what it really takes. Especially you war, especially you Warhammer cosplayers, because my God, <laughs> I give you all the respect in the world. Space Marines all day. You go from four, you go from five. Foot Cheers, to genitals. Nah, good shout Lord, out, shout out to you space, shout out to you space wolves and uh, Macedonians because whoo, that's mm-hmm. detail. That facts. I've seen, I've mm-hmm. seen those suits because that's what they are. Mm-hmm. Facts. Eight hours. One of my you local guys has a Space Marines cosplay that has him up there almost mm-hmm. nine feet tall at our last anime con. He said, Monte, I looked down, looked around. He said, over here, I looked up. I said, shit, you could have worn it. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. That, that's that, that kind of, that's that blob of shade look. <laughs> if they want a season two on top of the three movies, they got to come with a big bag for the makeup alone. Because he said that process was mm-hmm. grueling. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Although I do have to, although it's a far eye, we do have to get credit though. We 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 said in some way, form or fashion, Batman was gonna show, and lo and behold, we we did get the spotlight. So <laughs> it was like it's too late now. Everybody did. <laughs> that was very much me. I'm like, what the fuck have you been? <laughs> I come to say the ah, oh, too late. Uh, like, I mean, it is, it is year it one is Batman. Defense. In in his defense. There's a defense. Yeah, (laughs) half the Falcons are dead. The the Moronis are nowhere to be found. So he was just like, okay, that part of my job, I don't even have to worry about right now. Uh, I was like, I mean, it's apparently off the street. That there's going to be a power vacuum. I'm just saying, you ain't been watching, my guy. Nobody. I'm just saying, it's year one Batman. The Batmobile is still in the shop. After that jump, after that jump, that thing took that was all suspension and underside. We gonna we expect him, he even got flying down yet. His first flight was a uh, was falling with style. <laughs> was falling get a bat style. Uber. But still, it's it's just like we, we didn't had all the people been getting murked left and right. Done different. Like, we don't went through like three different drugs in the span of like a month. Then came and went. <laughs> Um, mm-hmm. The ghetto got power back on. Thanks a lot, Wayne Enterprises, for nothing. And then blown up within the span of like 48 hours. Right. <laughs> Imagine if you have the lights are back on and all of a sudden your house gets, your house is afraid of it. Uh, so I'm going to put Lady Mandalore here and give Sorry. her the accolades because she called the Vic angle. Uh, <laughs> Look, we're all Vic. Vic here. We are yeah. all. Take down. <laughs> we just oh, like Vic. Gone. He's giving him, and then he puts his arm around him, and I'm like, "Damn it!" I, like, I, I, saw like, it hey, I don't. I get it. It's been a ride, but I'm keeping. I need to keep like the the pea shooter from Harlem Knights on me at all time. I'm not just gonna get got like pew pew. Well, Nick, this this, this <laughs> you know, how you know Nick. This how you know Nick was never a Wu Tang fan. He never protect the neck. He's, I was like till the end. Vic was typically the same Ooh. Vic. Ooh. But you saw this man staple his guts together. Why didn't you at least punch him in the guts? Just why, did one not, good why, why did you not respect the six foot rule? The six foot rule. I was, rule like, of I was like, bite, the finger, like thumb underneath the crease to get away, like barrel roll, something. There's so many ways you could have got out of that. What was he going to do? Chase yeah. him? He didn't even try. He didn't listen to, he didn't even listen to the speech. T- the speech like, the are, you, are you telling me that Oz makes up for his disability in strength i i'm just i was like okay he's got you in a hold that you typically can't slip out of i mean you deformed my understanding, my understanding penguin's got strong thumb that's a strong thumb he, he's deformed you think he's actually dead though say that again do you think he's actually dead though oh yeah, yeah. no He's, he's I was waiting for him to <laughs> something. I'm on like, I'm, 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 at first. I thought he choked him out. I just thought he just choked him out, you know, well, you to kind of off the grid. But 
I'm like, nah, you didn't. I didn't hear a neck. Would you? Would you say? Because I, I about to say, I, I think we're gonna say. Something. I didn't hear a neck. I didn't hear the no, neck. I didn't hear the, neck, I didn't hear the neck snap. He just literally did. He just went for the long good night and just choked him out. Yeah, he just choked him out. All you, all you heard was that last gas, and it was like body go lip. Especially See, and I, it wouldn't have been nearly as bad mm-hmm. had he either choked him out or he just killed him. If he hadn't went through his wallet to take out his money and his ID, I say, now nah, you are really, you are really a scumbag. You're a real mm-hmm. motherfucker. You're a real he scumbag. Like, he stayed true to himself, bro. Because technically, everybody, he, everybody, he, well, except, do we really, do we really count uh, what's yes. his face? Because technically, the heart attack took him out, but still, he took his, that, he took that the, the power of the pen. That is literal plot armor. If I have ever seen, like, oh, that's, that's, that's Goku's plot armor. Bullshit. Now I see why they kept you, uh, why you were sitting pretty in jail. It's not because you were like this kingpin. It's because you were a health hazard waiting to happen. You was about to code it. You were about to code at any moment. They kept the EpiPen on deck for you. (laughs) EpiPen and a defibrillator. Goddamn Maronis. The fact that his mother broke a bottle and stabbed him in the gut, at which point I thought he was going to take his mother out after that. You're right. No, that's up until that point, the, the 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 ops have been treating her nicer. She got a nice little bedroom. She got mm-hmm. free therapy. She oh, boy, that, oh. with no repercussions. Do, doc, Doctor Hugo sat there and opened up some doors. Like let let's let's talk about what really happened. It's like next thing you know, go go and tell the truth, Oz. Tell what your mom already knows. I'm like, up. Oh. At that point, Ooh. they could have got some info. They all are looking for like dirt, and they're just like. No, we think you need to have like a family sit down. We don't even want to, we don't even want to hurt her anymore. You just, you are off, <laughs> sir. Like every yeah. time they try to find dirt, the on intervention. Them, they just they learn I mean, more. Look how long, their will. Look how long it took them to to cut her finger off. Like they, like yeah. if she she didn't really want to do that. She was just like, <laughs> I need to put a threat in front of him to make him come out the shell. And I, Sophia was just looking like this. Some bitch still ain't old. And we I mean, know he's he wrong. I mean, the conviction he had. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead, Spar. I'll say every time they learn about somebody they think he cares about, it's like, oh, never mind. You're a victim too. We've got nothing. Like the yeah. between the girl, the hooker, and his mom, it's like we can't even do normal mafia tactics. You just you're already like in the sunken place. What do we even do here? <laughs> And that Nothing. that was a thing. That was the thing that she wanted to do. She wanted to him. The hardest thing that he could ever do was admit something. And she was like, "Just admit what happened to your brothers. Admit what you did." He's like, "That we whole conviction, of, yeah, that whole conviction. He just wouldn't do it." It's like that. That was to her the true pleasure. Imagine Sophia, Sophia, and Oz's mom had the same look. Like, really, really, you like are- really. You're I know this you hard, but you really ain't shit. Yeah, but at, same, but at the same time, like you said, she broke that ball and stabbed him. I'm like, he's Norman Bates. He'll never tell. He'll never harm his mother. He will never harm his mother, no matter now, the fact. That now, he I, her I, I don't, I don't believe at the end where mm-hmm. he's got her all, you know, propped up to see the city. Mm-hmm. That's not love. That's not that, 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 he that tear that came that. out her eye. That tear that came out her eye. Oh, that's yeah. that's pain. But, but that is pain. But in Oz's, but in Oz's world. He fulfilled his promise. No, in Oz, in Oz, no, 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 I agree with you. I agree. That's, that's, okay. that's that's what I was saying. No, that selfish, his, selfish his last family. promise to her was, "If I'm ever a fu- no, not the quote, yeah, 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 if yeah. I'm ever a fucking vegetable, pull that fucking mm-hmm. plug." And what did mm-hmm. he do? Where is she? She is oh, trapped. No, no. In that's what she's about. That right. Promise. That's what I'm talking promise. about. What Oz promised. Oz yeah, that whole the time baby. promised. Alex. Yeah, go ahead, Tavar. The, the baby promised in the club <laughs> when he was supposed to get assassinated. Uh, mm-hmm. Penthouse, top of the city. Yada yada. He was never okay. keeping that other one. We we so know. So he has two promises. When is yeah. he gonna pull that plug? That he, goes back to Norman. Not, he's not. That goes. But here's the thing. That goes back to Norman. That goes back to Norman Bates thing. When she's when she was basically your object of obsession. Damn near Sigmund Freud all throughout these episodes. He can't let her go because technically that's his weakness. But he ain't got the guts to off his own mom. He doesn't. At this point, that's hurt. That's hurt. That's hurt that 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 she's dealing with. Yeah, Uh, she can't. I think he did that personally, and I think that that's the way that he was getting back at her. That's that. So in a way, it's (laughs) Stockholm syndrome. 
Yes. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No, no, that's not. Nar- that's nar- <laughs> Fuck Batman. Bruce, Bruce has got to go up to that. Because Bruce, because of his. I don't think that's either, but I know what you're trying to say. Yeah. yeah, because in Oz's world, that he's the hero. He's like, I did all this. I did exactly what I was gonna say, do, mom. Why aren't you proud of me? Why aren't you? Why aren't you? You know, all these things that he, all he really wanted was what it came down to was attention, accolades from his mom, and he always felt like he never got it. Even at the very end, where old girl in the most twisted ways dress up as his mom and is saying all the things he's ever wanted to hear just to just to solidify in his own mind that he made it that's twisted i'm not gonna show i don't i'm i'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna agree with you man on this one yeah. he said eyes ain't no pushover he can rumble don't judge a book by cover and i think that's what a lot of people did not in that maroni fight like, that maroni he fight he didn't keep it left up he yeah. does not have any compassion. He is not not pulling that plug because he loves his mother. He's yep. not pulling it because he's a fucking asshole. <laughs> we know that too. I mean, he know that. that part. We know he was never. He he was told two promises. He's only keeping the one he made out of his own mouth. We knew he was right. never keeping. Do you think he really cared right. about promises? I think it was just a matter of him saying what promises he only to say. only to himself. You know I think only it was just a matter himself. of him saying what what he thought he needed to say. But mm-hmm. I really think that he was tight with that that stab, and he said, mm-hmm. "Okay, I'm gonna keep you." Mm-hmm. Because that's, you're, that's you're like you said, that's city, you're gonna watch. That's his punishment. Watch what I do to mm-hmm. it. From, from there you go. Pen, there you go. From, that's from this punishment. penthouse that I promised you as a kid you would live. And at mm-hmm. this point, Bruce has to go up there for an interrogation and accidentally trip the core or something. First kill in this universe is the mom. Like, come on now. Like he'll just be accident. Wow. Like, damn, my bad. Damn. <laughs> Bro, I will go out by accident. Or he'll try to do like one of those Arkham entrances where he storms the window. It's like, why the fuck would you put her right there? <laughs> 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 Not the trick. They're all dusty off the bat. all this glass out the bed. <laughs> Why can I see that in the he Batman? Said, oh, too? that'll heal. That'll heal. She, you know, just keep that clean. You know, like, what, if yeah, that, what if that was? What if that was the Batman too during the escape? During the escape of Penguin's uh, leaving Penguin's penthouse, he does trip over the core. We find out that was the life support. <laughs> that would be mm. kind of messed up. No, he he kills the lights because he has to sneak in, so he kills the lights, not realizing he's killing the power to the to the daggone life support system. <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, Witch Hazel will fix everything, baby. Witch Hazel. That's <laughs> Witch Hazel. Witch Hazel. Dark, real quick. We knew he wasn't keeping that promise when he went and got the power back on immediately. It wasn't until she was suffering then he was like, "All right, let's fix it." Because mm-hmm. I thought for a second when he dolled her up, because that's usually what they do in mafia movies before they off you. But I was like, "Yeah, that's never." Yeah. He, he's keeping the promise that lets him feel better about himself. Mm-hmm. The other one is just mm-hmm. ear candy. Other than that. And the fact that she what found the flashlight and then they had the uh-huh. whole police report about his brother's bodies and mm-hmm. uh, there was your brother's down there with Georgie and Pennywise like it's, it's just <laughs> the rap. we all float down here we all float uh, Sophia Giganti <laughs> has a way because she never had any intentions of giving any empire over to anyone oh no Fuck. she said oh no she's like you give me Oz. I will give you this house and all the sure. property and everything. Sure. She, she said, was like, yeah, nice. give me what I want. I don't give a damn what you guys that's get because it ain't going to be here when you get back. And <laughs> that's, a, that's a special kind of hatred, ain't it? That sounds like divorce. <laughs> Go ahead and leave. <laughs> this shit ain't going to be here when you get back. <laughs> she, she, she pulled an Angela Bassett. She, was, she pulled an Angela Bassett. Like and she... Thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three six. She, I'm like, oh, you were you out for for damage Set this that. world on fire. Right. I will give you my kingdom if you bring me his. Like, head. I am leaving, and none of y'all will have none of this. I don't care about none of this. <laughs> we That's got eyes. Bring about a house. What house? <laughs> <laughs> it's actively because I was thinking lot. I was sitting, doc, seeing uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Zao going in there. He was like. What the hell? That's right. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> but I, this is how I didn't make it. Uh, <laughs> see, I, so. I, knew from, I knew from that punch his henchman gave him that he was in on something. I knew he was like, he was trying to save Vic. And then Vic, of all people, with the gift of gab, making the what lieutenants turn to generals. If yeah. I got that ranking right. But yeah. Yeah. 
he yeah. brought some people in that was already doing the work. He said, "You know what? We can flip this around. Let's do this." Uh, yeah. He, he, yeah. Well, once again, look who he learned from. He just didn't learn that final lesson. He, mm-hmm. It's mm. it's 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 Sidious and Maul when he took over Mandalore. It's like, all right, that's enough playtime for you. Yeah. So, uh, we are looking forward to to the Penguin getting a lot of Emmys for this mm-hmm. one. That's. Yeah, that all that. Tang knows all a lot that. of white people. What the hell? They don't never have. I may have. <laughs> Not <laughs> even at the BET Wars. They too focused on. Yeah. <laughs> I know some of y'all's cringe, but I was like, that's a lot of white people clapping. It's a lot, it's a lot of white people. <laughs> and the only black one you can really get is Morgan Freeman. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, no. just this year. Emmys, Emmys had a lot of us in there for the X Men team. So thank God we're getting yeah. there. Uh, 